listen guys in all seriousness right now is the best time to buy a house and you think I'm crazy Marshall interest rates are high there's no inventory out there I get all that but listen I want you to hear me out with this okay right now prices let's talk about prices first house prices are staying flat you may see houses on the market for a little bit longer and somebody willing to negotiate but for the most part they're really not coming off the prices on the houses that's just because people are still buying the demand is still there we are not anticipating a dip in the price of houses price of houses are going to continue to increase they're projecting another five to ten percent depending on the market over the next couple of years uh, this year and next year mainly so we are still seeing an increase on the price of houses so why is now a good time rates are higher yes interest rates are like in the sevens right now as I'm making this video but that means there's less competition on people buying houses although there are still people looking to buy houses there's not near as many as there was last year so let's think this through last year if you were wanting to buy a house more than likely you were gonna to have to offer twenty thousand or so dollars over the list price I had people offering over eighty thousand dollars and they still weren't getting the house so there's less competition but hear me out on this okay when interest rates come down you are gonna have a flood of buyers hit the market and what's that gonna do that's gonna raise the prices up and it's gonna be super competitive to get a house under contract in fact listen you're competing against Millennials now so they are saying that the largest group of home buyers that has ever existed in history is about to hit the market over the next two years what's that gonna do to the cost the prices it's gonna make the prices go up interest rates are gonna be irrelevant because the prices are gonna keep going up so my thing is if you're looking to buy a house over the next year two or three four years and maybe you're even in a house right now and you don't want to lose that low interest rate that you have here's the reality okay you can get a house at a good price right now before the prices go up too much more take whatever interest rate you can get and just plan on refinancing it in a year or so down the road whenever the rates do come back down um, so if you if you think about it right now you're not having to compete as heavily against the houses you can actually go in and ask for sellers to pay some closing costs for you you may even can ask a little bit off the sales price I don't know it depends on the market but if you find a house that's been sitting on the market for a month or so go in and ask them to pay your closing costs you've got nothing to lose but I think personally mark my words I'm gonna go down to saying this right now is the best time to buy okay it's better than it was a year ago just because you're not gonna have the stiff competition like you did you're gonna have a higher payment yeah and I understand that sucks I'm not trying to take away from that but you're actually gonna be able to get a house under contract whereas a year or so ago it was almost impossible so I hope this helps you guys listen if you want to know exactly where you stand a mortgage pre-approval is super fast and easy it takes five to ten minutes to fill out the information online that will help me guide our conversation okay and then a five or ten minute phone call I can be able to tell you exactly where you stand if you're not where you need to be I can tell you exactly what you need to do to get there so I hope this helps if you're looking to buy over the next few years my advice and I'm not just trying to sell you is to do it now